Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Great Bearded Summoner, and welcome back to another summoning to another trailer reaction for new heroes, Ymir and more. Um, that's really about all I know. I did get a little bit spoiled on the thumbnail. I did see see Celica, Ascended Celica, and also Ymir is in the title, so. Unfortunately, I got spoiled on those two, but let's go ahead and I'll quit prattling and let's get right on into the video. I feel invigorated, as if I've been reborn. I dig that guitar. We'll come back to look at the skills and pay the bills here in just a second. With Mila's strength! I'd finally settled down, and then I got kidnapped by pirates. Just my luck. Valentian Est. Okay. Ooh, newbie skill. Definitely <laughs> interested in that. Oh, I'm ready! This job you need done. We won't be running into any necro dragons, right? Right? Okay. Cool. cool. I'm just in it for the money. I am Amir, dragon of life and steward of its realm. Won't lie, you could have told me that was Sharena. Ascended Sharena, and I'd have believed you. Yeah. She almost looks a little like Corrin. banner let's go back and let's have a look at the skills first is a colorless infantry tome is Celica and the skills are Mila's Testament accelerate special cooldown trigger minus one Slayer if unit initiates combat orders within two spaces of an ally grants attack speed Plus six to unit during combat. Neutralizes effects that inflict special cooldown minus X on unit. Deals damage equal to 10% of foe's attack. And also, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25% and foe would reduce unit's HP to zero. Unit survives with one HP. Once per combat does not stack with non-special effects that would allow unit to survive with one HP if foe's attack would reduce HP to zero. That's a lot. So basically though, she has she gets as long as she's near someone, Slayer, attack speed plus six. 
Null guard. 10% of foe's attack. And slightly worse miracle. Hmm. Interesting, at least. Moonbow, life and death for Soul of Zofia, which is her legendary B skill. But she's bringing a new C skill to the game. No infantry no follow-up. At start of turn, grants no follow-up to infantry allies within two spaces of unit. Note, it's not giving it to her. It's giving it to everyone else. Definitely interesting. Then we have Flying Lance, Est, the last of the Valencian White Wings, except for Minerva, which I don't even know if she went to Valencia, so... Apologies, I didn't play a whole lot of Shadows of Valencia. Tri-Edge Lance. Grants plus three attack. If unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, grants spectrum plus five to unit, deals damage equal to 20% of unit's res, and reduces damage from foe's first attack by 40% during combat. So it has a spectrum buff, deals an extra 20% based off of S's res, and reduces and damage reduction. Man, that's not bad. Iceberg and Attack Res Push we're familiar with. Flow Feather 3. If unit initiates combat, neutralizes effect that prevent unit's follow-up attacks during combat, and also if unit's speed is greater than or equal to foe's speed minus 10, deals damage during combat equal to 70% of the difference between res stats, unit's res minus foe's, and reduces damage from foe's attacks by 70% of that difference. Excluding area of effect specials, minimum zero, max seven. Hmm. Okay. That's not bad. Huh. Still, it's as how good she, can she be? Then we have Kamui, Infantry Sword, because all the four stars are Infantry Sword at this point. And you can look at them, hold on, one second, oh, apologies. Up front blade, at start of combat, if foe's HP is greater than or equal to 75%, a grant's attack speed plus five to unit and neutralize this unit's penalties to attack and speed during combat. Hmm, that's not a bad little weapon. It's not, you know, anything to really write home about, but not the worst. Luna, speed defense ideal, attack defense oath. Nothing really stellar, so. We'll go on. Green Cavalry Dragon. Ymir. This artwork is gorgeous. I will say that up front. And like I was saying during the introduction, you could have told me that was Ascended Jirena. I'd have believed you. Every living breath grants attack plus three if rally skill or movement assist skill, reposition, shove, pivot, etc. is used by unit or target's unit, restores 10 HP to allies within two spaces of unit and target after, and target after movement then neutralizes any penalty on those allies, including unit and target. Does not stack even if effect ranges of unit and target overlap. At start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than 25%, grants attack speed defense res plus five to unit during combat, and unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. If unit's, if foe's range is equal to two, dragon adaptive damage. Rally attack plus up, we've seen it before. Attack res unity, also seen it before. Attack res near trace. Enables Canto Rim 1, inflicts attack res minus three on foe during combat. Apparently we didn't have that yet. Kind of interesting. Ever living domain. 
If unit is within two spaces of any allies, grants plus four defense and res and the following effect to unit and those allies during combat. If unit's HP is greater than or equal to 75% and the foe would effectively one-shot, it's giving her and everyone else miracle as long as they're above 75% HP. Wow. Only once per combat and you can't stack it with actual miracle. Wait, it says non-special effects. So you can stack it with Miracle. That's annoying. Non-special effects would be like if it was, let's say, you can't, but let's say you could give Everliving Domain to Hell. It wouldn't stack with the Miracle that's in her scythe. Because that's a non-special version of miracle this will stack with actually if i'm reading this right this stacks with actual miracle meaning you can technically survive a death blow twice hmm that's annoying huh and then we have on last page, we have again fallen Veronica, which means she's going to get taken over by Embla. Kamui, Ascended Celica, Valentian Est, and Atlas, who will be the new four star. Doesn't show much about him. I don't think, yeah. Art's good, I will say that much. But all in all, an interesting banner. Though, with Brave Tiki just around the corner, I can't say I'm completely interested. Ascended Celica and Ymir both look good. Valencian Est is, if you like Est, go for it. And Kamui is a four star, so he's going to troll you later anyway. But that is about it for me. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to leave a like or subscribe if you did. Wednesday we will be doing the... Wednesday you'll be seeing the summoning more than likely from... I'll be recording that tomorrow. And Friday I'm going to be bringing back a special treat for you all. So stay tuned for that. But until then and next time, I will see you on the battlefield. Take care guys.